Hi, I'm going to talk about the two major wired options which you can use to connect up a network. And these are copper and fiber. So starting with the more basic, less interesting one, which is copper cables. So copper cables just use electricity to transfer the data. So copper cable, copper is metal. A typical copper cable will have multiple wires. So a wire is just a, a long stick of metal or some other material. The cable is multiple wires grouped together. So here we've got a big cable. We've got one, two, three, four, five mini cables with loads of individual wires in each of those mini cables. So typically a copper cable will have lots of kind of like wrapped around bits of copper with things like rubber and casing to link it all together. So copper uses electricity usually is used in businesses for quite short connections obviously ones which need wires it won't be used longer term you wouldn't use it stretching miles and miles and miles because it's not the most quick or efficient way to communicate now copper is used because it can conduct electricity really well not as well as something like silver but clearly copper is quite cheap compared to things like silver and gold which would be better in theory. Now, in terms of evaluating copper, copper does have an issue when not insulated properly. In this picture, we've got some rubber surrounding the cables. That is what we call insulation. So insulation keeps the individual wires contained. And without insulation, the wires can interfere with each other. Now, what that means is when one wire is carrying electricity, it can affect for wires around it, just down to how electricity works. And that means potentially you might have errors because if one wire is affecting, is interfering with another wire, that may lead to errors. And it may slow things down, it may mean stuff has to get resent if it is interfering. And so better copper cables will have insulation to try and reduce this happening. In comparison, a slightly more uh, fancier option is fiber. So fiber, also called fiber optic or optical fiber, doesn't use electricity to send the data, instead uses light. So fiber cables do require some electricity, but not to send the data. The data is sent by flashing a laser near enough down a wire, and that is how the data is transferred. Remember data is being sent as binary. Binary is just zeros and ones. And so you can imagine a light being pulsed on and off really, really fast can be used to send binary data. Now the wire itself sort of has two parts to it really. Here we've got two cables. Each one has got sort of two end parts. That's because to send and receive data, you need separate pathways. Otherwise the light is going to absorb each other. Each beam is gonna get absorbed and it will be a mess. So they're kept separate going in different directions, a bit like how a road would be. Now the actual cable itself is usually made of quite thin and flexible, either glass or plastic. It is flexible, you can bend it slightly, but not nearly as much as copper. So copper can be bent as much as you want, pretty much. You won't really damage it too much, it's very malleable, is the proper word. Fibre cables are not awful, they're not totally rigid, but you can't bend it a lot, otherwise it might snap and damage. So they are less flexible than copper. But in terms of a better thing, and I'm sure you know this from adverts and so on, but fiber is faster. So it can transfer more data at a time. And the proper language is higher bandwidth. The bandwidth of a network is how much data can get sent at any time. And fiber gives you more bandwidth than copper by quite a big amount. So if you want a faster network, fiber is a better option. But as things tend to go, the higher performing it is, the more expensive it is. So that's why fiber is often used for longer distances. Over short distances, there is not much difference between copper and fiber. You might as well just use copper because it's cheaper. But if you are having to use a lot of cable, fiber will be better because it's much faster and it will be a bigger difference. But as I say, it's also quite brittle. So to turn it around tight corners and you know to wedge it through certain areas, you might not be able to use it. It might have to be copper instead. Okay, well hopefully you can evaluate copper versus fiber. 
but also just to think slightly bigger and evaluate using a wired network versus a wireless network. And we're going to talk more about wireless in the next video. So looking at it here from just a, a wired versus wireless perspective, because it's a really, really common exam question, basically. So why are wired networks generally quite a good thing, no matter whether you pick fiber or copper? Well, you often wired is a bit more stable and a bit more reliable than things like Wi-Fi. Doesn't tend to have as many errors, generally speaking. And because you've got physical wires, it's much harder to intercept data in a wired network. A hacker, someone trying to view your data, would have to go in and actually physically attach a device to your cables, which is much harder to do. Whereas something like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth is out of the air, right? Anybody could be around and use their device to receive the signals. You can't limit it to a wire. And so security-wise, wired is much better. But also, in terms of range, as you know, things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth haven't got the longest range, whereas wires haven't got an infinite range. Both fiber and copper will weaken over time, but generally it's a longer range than wireless. But in terms of limitations, Wi-Fi and other wireless networks are much more flexible. Wired networks are not very flexible. It's hard to add a new device. You've got to plug it in, you've got to route some wire down a, a corridor or through a wall or something like that. Also hard to change your arrangement if you decide to suddenly change your network from a, a ring to a star or to, or to a bus. You've suddenly got to, again, move wires around, buy more wire, drill through a wall. All that sort of stuff is harder with a wired network. Wireless, just connect, no problem at all. But also wires can get messy and take up space and can actually be a hazard, right? It could be a fire hazard, could be a trip hazard. They can get very messy very quickly, especially as your network gets quite big. So wireless can be better, but if you want stability and better security, wired is often preferable.